entrance antiphon he gave them the water of wisdom to drink it will be made strong in them and will not be moved it will raise them up forever alleluia in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of the lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus now is the time to proclaim that jesus is truly risen alleluia all the followers of jesus after his resurrection with the power of the holy spirit witnessing that truly he was the son of god who defeated death who has truly risen and so they continue to preach and teach about the baptism in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit we too have all renewed our baptismal promises spiritually of course not able to participate physically in the liturgy on easter if the lord sees your and my heart and blesses us let us continue to seek the lord the reason lord who will wipe away our anxiety our fear our worries our sicknesses and diseases may we continue to grow in faith let us call to our mind the times we have not seen the lord in others not heard the word of god disobeyed the commandments of god sinned against god and one another let us acknowledge our sins i can first of mighty god and to you my dear brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and my dear brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God heavenly king of God almighty father Lord Jesus Christ only begotten son Lord God love of God son of the father You take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray o god who have bestowed on us pascal remedies into your people with heavenly gifts so that possessed of perfect freedom 
They may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Lord, we offer this Eucharist for the people who are celebrating their birthdays and the ordination day and for the intentions they have asked to offer Lord bless them all give them good health mind and body keep them safe and bless us all through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen first reading a reading from the Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 36 to 41 on the day of Pentecost Peter spoke to the Jews the whole house of Israel can be certain that God has made this Jesus whom you crucified both Lord and Christ hearing this they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the Apostles what must we do brothers we must repent Peter answered and every one of you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit the promise that was made is for you and your children and for all those who are far away for all those whom the Lord our God will call to himself he spoke to them for a long time using many arguments and he angered them save yourselves from this perverse generation they were convinced by his arguments and they accepted what he said and were baptized that very day about three thousand were added to their number the word of the lord thanks be to god response to real psalm the lord fills the earth with his love the word of the lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted the lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love response the lord fills the earth with his love the lord looks on those who river him on those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death to keep them alive in famine response the lord fills the earth with his love gospel acclamation hallelujah hallelujah this day was made by the lord we rejoice and are glad hallelujah the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord god chapter 20 verses from 11 to 18 mary stayed outside near the tomb weeping then still weeping she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of jesus had been one at the head and the other at the feet they said woman why are you weeping they have taken my lord away she replied and i do not know where they have put him as she said this, she turned round and saw jesus standing there though she did not recognize him jesus said woman why are you weeping why are you looking for supposing him to be the gardener she said sir if you have taken him away tell me where you have put him and i will go and remove him jesus said mary she knew him then and said to him in hebrew rabuni which means master jesus said to her do not cling to me because i have not yet ascended to the father but go and find the brothers and tell them i am ascending to my father and your father to my god and your god so mary of magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the lord and that he had said these things to her 
the gospel of the lord praise to our lord jesus christ to the gospel message we have today reflection the reality of resurrection is the recognition of the reason one with the eyes of faith for the one who takes the first step of faith the risen lord may appear as a stranger mary magdalene was the faithful disciple of jesus from the time of her first encounter with the lord she remained faithful even at the time of the trial and death of jesus when other disciples deserted him the gospel of john is full of signs and symbols and the apparition narrative of the risen lord to mary magdalene at the tomb too is filled with such symbolisms her journey of faith is an inspiration for all who wishes to be disciples of the risen lord in spite of mary being the faithful and close follower of the lord she is unable to recognize the risen christ because mary stood weeping outside the tomb she is totally absorbed in her loss and a veil of tears obscured the vision of the risen christ in our loss and failures we have a tendency to enclose ourselves in a misfortune and it, it per, prevents us from seeing the loving plan of god the voice of the lord his word among us can remove this veil and manifest the presence of the living lord in our lives may god continue to protect us and bless us may the risen lord enlighten each one of us of a tree blessed are you lord of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth a rock of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever by the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of christ to humble to himself to share in our humanity Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and rock of the human hands. It will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in this side this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal lord we put forth our personal intentions bless us you know each one of us be with us give us good health mind and body and protect each one of us through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let's give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but in this time above all to love to you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic chorus sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim 
holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy a lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins to this in memory of me the mystery of faith We proclaim your death O Lord and prophesy your resurrection until you come again. Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are both worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember O Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope John Archbishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face our mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph our most just spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed upon the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will we live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind, body, and healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ keep me safe for eternal life communion antiphon if you have risen with Christ seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God mind the things that are above alleluia Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and 
as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.